Iceland, the Lok Jukul Glacier. In the highest, coldest parts of the planet, glaciers still reign supreme. Few venture out in these hostile terrains, but glacier climatologist Finner Paulsen and his team regularly battle the freezing elements. When you're doing glacier field work, conditions can be very bad. Outside, it is below minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to work in harsh conditions. Difficulty is something you need to tackle. Finner is keeping tabs on the growth of the glacier. At present, it is over 350 square miles, the size of New York City. And although it may look static, in fact, it is in constant motion. Glaciers are formed initially by snowfall on high areas. The compacted ice is then dragged down by the force of gravity. The glaciers move like slow motion rivers. You can think of ice as soft material like toothpaste. It flows. If you would make a big block of toothpaste on a plate, it would slowly sink down and flow away to the edges. Finner and his team in Iceland regularly check on the incremental movement of the ice. This is a satellite positioning system. We can calculate the, the position of this point with an accuracy of about two centimeters to calculate how fast the glacier moves. Finner's measurements tell him that this glacier is moving at over 150 feet per year. In today's mild temperatures, glacial advance is kept in check by glacial melting. But if global temperatures were to drop by just a few degrees for a long period, then the glaciers would grind slowly forward and the Earth would enter another ice age. New York Central Park. This oasis of green in the middle of Manhattan exposes part of the island's ancient bedrock. Many large outcrops are visible and they contain the footprints of the glaciers. Climate expert Jörg Schaefer is looking for subtle traces of this frozen world. It's actually something I bet that most New Yorkers do not know. You see the ice ages everywhere if you open your eyes. Look closely and the super hard bedrock is marked with scores of tiny parallel lines, fractions of an inch deep. So this point here is actually one of the most amazing spots of evidence for an ice age in the middle of New York City. The grooves were caused by small rocks caught under the massive weight of a moving glacier. These little rocks basically cut like a knife into this very hard bedrock. This is clear proof that once an enormous ice sheet was moving in this direction in the middle of New York City. <laughs> 